force fields and the shields and whatnot, so that'll definitely help out a lot there. And the Terran player is continuing to push out the medevacs and marines and marauders and whatnot. Throwing down a scan there, probably just making sure there wasn't any observer there or whatnot. And I'm not too sure where the observer is at. Looks like it's, uh, nope, can't see it. But we do have some zealots right here trying to do some harassment in the back of the base. I don't think that's going to go too terribly far, though, because, yeah, there's a bunch of marines and they hate zealots. So, and that is my official description for the situation, as we do have more Colossus taken to the field. And there's going to be a giant engagement here. Colossus taking out the Marines and Marauders that were unfortunate enough to get caught in the front of the force fields. Vikings doing a pretty good job of taking out the Colossus. You can see one is just about dead here, but there is an abundance of force fields that have just completely trapped in all of the Terran forces. Except for the Vikings and a few extra ones hanging out up here at the top. Do have some SCVs coming off to repair, probably take a little bit of extra damage. But, you know, the, uh, the Protoss player is saying, forget it, not going to engage again. Just going to come over here, try to take out this expansion before the Terran player has a chance to react. Sure enough, there go the force fields. However, the Protoss player is backed into a corner. He's not really able to get in here and do any damage to the Orbital Command which now has lifted off, so the Immortals won't be able to shoot at it, which takes out a good chunk of DPS for the uh, for the Protoss player. So Cabbage might lose one Immortal here. There it goes. Another one pretty close, but does have full, uh, full shields just about. So he is continuing to try to push in here, but the Terran player is actually in a pretty good position at this point because he's able to, able to reinforce his army. He's, he's made quite a number of uh, Marauders and Marines and whatnot. So... Protoss player is going to have to retreat. I mean, there's not really much he can do at this point. As we do actually have the factory kind of hanging out here now. Probably just, you know, realize that uh, it's going to save it, scout it for uh, save it for a scout a few minutes later. Or maybe he is going to build a Hellion, paint it like the General Lee, and try to jump the chasm. I don't know what's going to happen. But both players, I do know for sure, are sitting in their base macroing right now. Trying to get up their economies going as really... We do have four mules here, and you can see the income. Well, this is going to shoot up really quick for Cloud once his uh, mules start bringing in minerals more and more frequently. So, Protoss is... Uh, you know, I would say with the exception of the mules, both players are about even in terms of the economy. Of course, the armor size, a little bit different story. Both are sitting relatively same in terms of mineral investment, but you can see there is a pretty big discrepancy here in terms of uh, the gas and the size. And that's pretty much just what happens when you've got, uh, you know, you've got the unit compositions that we do. Especially with the gas-heavy sentries here, which are in abundance in this Terran army. We've got, or this Protoss army. We've got 12 of them here right now. So, pretty good call there as this probe might come out and try to build something. I do not know. Sure enough, there goes the factory there. Opting instead to just go for the Kamikaze instead of the General, General Lee rush. And the Protoss is going to move out, it looks like. He does have another Colossus and a pretty well-positioned uh, pylon, just far back enough to not be noticed by the Terran army. However, this is a really dangerous spot to attack through, man, because you are really funneled into, you know, a narrow area here, and the Terran player can expand all around here if he wants to and just shoot, shoot you as you come in, and that's all she wrote. But the Protoss is going to go for it anyways, using the uh, using the force fields to a great advantage, keeping the majority of the Marauders away from the fight, realizing that he doesn't have quite enough to make uh, make an impact that he wants to. He's going to pull back, reinforce, come at it again. We might see more force fields. Sure enough, there they go. Terran player is actually having to retreat. He realizes that you know with all these force fields, he's actually not in a great position. But the Protoss player is going to knock down a couple of those force fields, move up his move up his forces, and continue to push the Terran player more. And more on the defensive. He hasn't built an expansion here yet. That's probably what he's got that probe there for. Maybe maybe a backup proxy pylon too. I don't know, but the Terran player definitely was able to catch the catch the Protoss player off guard by making a quick push into the uh, into the lines of the Protoss units. Of course, Cabbage having to retreat back some. He lost the Colossus. He's losing a lot of these units. He might actually lose all of them now, as these Marauders are literally steamrolling through the centuries. The Stalkers are gone, and that is going to be all she wrote for that army. As three more Stalkers have taken to the field, but really, I mean, what are they going to do? They just go over there and die. So, wise move, pulling back, and really, both players <laughs> were 24, over 24 minutes into this game, and both players are still working off of their naturals. Nothing really left in the, nothing really left in the base. So, 
gonna probably see some expanding here. Gonna have to if either player really wants to uh, really wants to secure a victory in this game, as both are gonna run out of money here soon enough. Force fields went down, but it did not push the Marauders back far enough. Not enough force fields to really affect it, as these two were able to get out. This Colossus is gonna explode. And another attack is going to be thwarted by the Terran army. Cabbage, once again, going to have to retreat across this ledge. Which, honestly, I'm a little surprised this pylon hasn't been found yet. But we do have an expansion dropping down here, just southwest of the uh, Protoss main base. And we have another Viking here who's going to be scouting around. He might see it, although I don't think he is going to do so. No, it looks like his rally points are going to take him right to the natural. Well, no, he is going to actually head right back, checking this expansion first. Very good, a very good call for Cloud. He will see that, so he will be able to load up his dropships if he wants to, just jump right across the chasm there and take out this expansion, or he may just opt to uh, take the take the road here and kill this pylon. We'll have to see, as both players have retreated it to their base for the moment and macroing up. We do have an observer coming over here to make sure there's nothing going on. Nothing spectacular going on in the Terran base. Pretty uh, pretty low in the SCV count, I'll tell you what, man. This is You can see there's 38 harvesters for uh, cabbage as opposed to 17. There goes the pylon. I think a chunk of it fell off the map, actually. That was kind of brutal. But, anyways, the uh, both players just continue to macro up a little bit. I think that uh, Blue is going to make a push on the expansion, though. He is in a pretty good position to do so. And actually, looking at the upgrades, I don't think either player has upgraded their forces yet. No, sure enough, nothing for either player. But, you know, here comes the attack on the expansion. This is going to knock it out. It looks like Protoss isn't even really going to try to stave it off. As he is, uh, you can tell that his economy is looking pretty uh, pretty solid from this one base. He does have more probes than necessary, as you can see. But, he is going to have to secure some additional income in the very near future if he wants to take this. Because the Terran player is continuing to, uh, to ascertain map control over the map. He might make a push here. I don't know if he's going to make a push or maybe just try to lure the uh, Protoss army out. We'll have to see as he does slowly move towards the uh, Protoss base. He might even take out the destructible debris, but it does not look like it. As he is trying to get some free shots off on this zealot who will barely get out by the skin of its teeth. Oh man, that's absolutely lucky for him as this pylon is going to go down. Actually, that, that's one something I did not know when I first started playing StarCraft. If you kill the pylon with the, war the units are warping in, it'll kill the units. That's I, that's pretty much just a little tip for all you new, new players out there. Like I said, that was something I didn't know when I very first started playing StarCraft 2. But, um, of course, if you do have two pylon fields, um, you know, overlapping, of course, it won't cancel out as long as you're warping in the overlapping part. So keep that in mind as both players continue to build up. But the thing is, I think the Protoss player is in a little bit better position now because you can see the worker count still. Cloud's really trying to make the best use that he can of these mules, but it's really starting to show in the army size here. The Protoss is sitting pretty good. If he uh, if he is able to get off some decent force fields, which he does have enough for three, although no, this Colossus might go down. Oh man, that was terrible. It was horribly out of position. The Terran player definitely took that to full advantage, took out the Colossus, and this attack really isn't going to be able to do anything. Of course, this one Marauder is going to try to get taken out. Protoss is going to try to reinforce it, but, you know, that's the Colossus is gone, man. That's that's such a huge loss. And this, oh man, this stalker right here, he is going to take it. Oh, poor guy. As he tries to run back, but the other uh, other stalkers come back and try to save him, taking out one medevac in the process. Definitely worth it there, as he did not lose the Colossus. And here comes two more zealots, man. I think he's got a rally point over here or something. I don't know what's going on. But another Colossus has taken to the field and will soon be joining up with the rest of the Protoss forces. And another push coming out here by Terran. Still don't have any more expansions. I mean, this is... He, one of these players is going to have to at some point. I mean, there's a lot of money here sitting around, and all this Viking came in just in the nick of time to, uh, to see, check this expansion. This probe, however, will make a clean getaway, as the Terran player does opt to come down and kill this expansion, it looks like. Well, no, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll have to see as we're going to have another engagement. The Protoss forces are trying to back up just a little bit as more probes are taking to the field, trying to get in here and do a little bit of extra damage, take a few extra hits for the main army. 
which is being kited. These zealots are being taken out by the kiting uh, marauders. Stemming is going down, so they are able to run fairly quickly. They're going to be able to take out this expansion, and the Protoss is not going to be able to do anything about it, as this one lone sentry is just is not able to get up here and do any force fields to uh, in a position that would be able to stop this army. I think there's another one in there, actually. So, um, Yeah, there's two force fields in there now, but or sentries, rather. But at this point, you know, whenever these armies fight, it's going to be anybody's guess as to who's going to win, because there's no proxy pylon now. Terran is sitting in a pretty good position, although these units keep coming over here. I, I don't understand. I mean, if he were, if he just wanted to scout it out, yeah, okay, that's one thing, but I don't know. But anyways, so there's gonna be another engagement here, and it's looking like the Protoss is have is actually pushing back the Terran player just a little bit, but I think that's mainly just because the Terran is cutting back, trying to take a little bit less damage from the Colossus. Pretty good move there. But again, both both forces just whittled down, but nothing was actually accomplished by it. So I think this is pretty much just going to be, for the Protoss player, try to keep the Terran on the defensive as long as possible to guard this expansion, because I don't think either player has really spent too much time down here in this part of the map. But the Terran player is now pushing out with his SCVs, his Marauders, everything. Pulled him off the mineral line, but it looks like he has maybe just an accident. I don't know. As he is sending them back now, he's probably realizing that there's no attack coming for the next couple seconds, so it is safe to mine. But I'll tell you what, this observer here, man, he is actually uh, he is in a great place keeping an eye on the army. And the Terran player doesn't actually have any Marines here whatsoever, so there's nothing he can really do about it. A couple Marines hanging out up here took out one of the observers, but... Uh, yeah, so both players are going to continue to macker up a little bit, and now that I think about it, that might have actually been a warp prism, I'm not too sure. Either way, Protoss is definitely moving out here. We do have three Colossi taken to the field, good chunk of Stalkers, couple Sentries. So, if he places the, uh, the Force Fields properly and he keeps the uh, forces together, unlike that previous Colossus, he should be able to win this. However, this is this a lot better position than the first one. The Colossus hanging out in the back, Stalkers head, or the Zealots headed to the front, trying to soak up some of the damage. Force fields going down, didn't really catch the Terran forces though, so those were uh, kind of a bust, so to speak. But the Protoss player is going to come in here, do some damage on the orbit or on the uh, command center, which is floating along. However, he realizes the Terran is going to come back here now with his SCVs. I mean, this is when you know it's getting down to it, man. When all the SCVs come off and, uh, you know, try to defend against the Protoss forces, which are another fights coming in. A couple force fields go down. Here come the SCVs again, trying to tank for the for the Marauders. Zealots are chewing through them. Unfortunately, they do go down, but not before the Colossus rips through the rest of the Marauders, rips through the SCVs, and finishes off for uh, securing a victory for the forces of Cabbage. So, Great play by Cabbage. Uh, I <laughs> I think the best part of the game was the early part of the match, man. I absolutely love seeing, uh, you know, cheese and counter cheese and whatnot. So definitely good stuff there. Going to continue to try to find some more epic games for uh, BlizzCon weekend, and I uh, will see you guys later.